Grammar 4, Chapter 12, Noun Clauses, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to form noun clauses beginning with a question word. Form noun clauses beginning with whether or if. Use question words followed by infinitives. And identify noun clauses in various examples. Let's take a look at what a clause is. That's one of the first things that we need to understand before we begin. A clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. An independent clause, also known as main clause, is a complete sentence. It contains the main subject and verb of a sentence. Let's take a look at some examples. Hassan lives in Abha. Where does Abdullah live? Those were examples of independent clauses. What, are, what is an independent clause? It is a complete sentence. As you can see, Hassan lives in Abha. We have a full stop. Where does Abdullah live? We have a question mark. Let's take a look at dependent clause, which essentially is the ops opposite. It is also known as subordinate clause. It is not a complete sentence. Please note, it is not a complete sentence. Let's take a look at an example of a dependent clause. Where Abdullah lives. This is not a complete sentence. Now let's have a little introduction. A noun clause has the same uses in a sentence as a noun. It is used as an object or a subject, but you need to know what an object and a subject is. We learn this in Grammar 1, 2, and 3. Let's take a look at some examples. I know what he ate. The noun clause is the object of the verb know. Okay? I know, this is the verb, what he ate noun clause. What he ate is good. The noun clause is the subject of the verb is. Now, noun clause is beginning with a question word. In a noun clause, the subject comes before the verb. So let's take a quick look at this uh, example before we continue. In a noun clause, the subject comes before the verb. So always the subject will come before the verb in a noun clause all the time. Now sentences can vary uh, and that's what we're going to look at right now. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's take a look at a question. Where does he live? And the noun clause, I don't know where he lives. Question, what did he say? And the noun clause, I couldn't hear what she said, but specifically the noun clause would be what she said. This is the object of the verb here. Please note that we learned earlier that the subject comes before the verb. Question, when do they go to class? And the noun clause, do you know when they go to class? This would be the object of the verb know. Now, in the examples below, the word order is the same in both the question and the noun clause. Because who is the subject in both? Let's take a look at some examples. Who lives there? I don't know who lives there. We could see the subject, who, and the verb, lives. And the noun clause is who lives there. Who is outside? I don't know who, who is outside, and the noun clause is, who is outside. Be careful. Does, did, and do are used in questions, but not in noun clauses. Noun clauses beginning with a question word. In a noun clause, the subject comes before the verb. Let's take a look at some examples. Who are those people? And the noun clause, I don't know who those people are. Those people is the subject of the question. So it, be, so it comes before the verb in the noun clause. Whose car is that? I wonder whose car that is. A noun clause subject always takes a singular verb. Question, what should he study? And the noun clause, 
What he should study is up to him. Noun clauses beginning with whether or if. When a yes or no question is changed to a noun clause, whether or if is used to introduce the clause. Examples. Question, will he come? Answer, I don't know whether he will come. I don't know if he will come. I wonder whether or not he will come. I wonder whether he will come or not. I wonder if he will come or not. Whether he comes or not is unimportant to me. Examples. Does she need help? I wonder whether she needs help. I wonder if she needs help. Whether is more common than if in formal English, but whether and if are commonly used in speaking. Please note, when a yes or no question is changed to a noun clause, whether or if is used to introduce the clause.